guys yeah, welcome back to my channel today thank you so much for stopping by in this video we'll be cutting and sewing this play suit that you can see on your screen so i used two yards of this african print the first thing i'll do is to cut up my upper bodies to do that i'm going to fold my fabric into four because i want to cut both front and back piece together so i'm going to fold into two like this okay on this part that is open i'm going to mark two inches all the way to the end of my fabric this two inches is going to serve as my zipper allowance so i'm going to connect all the dots into a straight line after doing that i'll fold my fabric over in such a way that it's not going to cover these two inches that will serve as my zipper allowance so the one that i fold over is going to be my front while the one that has the two inches is going to be the back the next thing i'll do is to mark my point okay so the distance from my shoulder to my bust point is 10 inches the distance to my shoulder to my waist point which is my half length is 16 inches I'll go ahead and add one more inch to it for joining allowance so i'm marking um, my bust point my waist point and one extra inches for my joining allowance after doing that i went ahead to rule straight lines across the next thing i'll do is to place my tape on the folded end of this fabric which is my front pattern and i'll go in by half of my shoulder measurement which is eight inches i'll indicate the eight inches with a dot on that dot i'll go down by one inch for my shoulder slope and i'll slant from that point into the neckline area like this after doing that i'm going to place my tape on the shoulder slope and i'll go down by half of my round arm or circumference okay so my round arm or circumference is 16 inches half of it is 8 inches so i went down by 8 inches I'm going to place my tape on that 8 inches mark and I'll confirm that I have the same measurement that I have on the shoulder line which is 8 inches as you can see. After doing that, I'll connect from the shoulder slope to meet that 8 inches mark in a straight line and then I'm going to roll a straight line across for my arm or to sit. so guys the next thing i'll do now is to place my tape on this straight line and i'll mark the middle what i have is eight inches the center is four inches i'll mark this four inches on that four inches mark i'll come inward by half an inch i'll also indicate the half an inch with a dot after doing that i'm going to place my bust circumference divided by four on that chest line that is the arm all line okay i'll place my bust circumference divided by four i'll also indicate that and then i'll use my ruler to connect from the shoulder slope to meet the half inch that i came in with and from there to meet the points that i have on the chest line like this okay after doing that since i already have my bust circumference divided by four i'm just going to place my stitching allowance of 1.5 inches on the side so on the waistline i'll place my waist circumference divided by four i'll add my dart allowance of one inch so taking your dart for this place which is optional but i want mine to be fitted so i'm taking my dart so i added one inch for my dart intake and i added 1.5 inches for my stitching allowance i'll do now is to connect the lines together I'll connect from the chest line to the waistline like this okay after doing that I'll go ahead and mark my dart so to take my dart I'm going to place half of my nipple to nipple measurement okay which is my bust pan mine is four inches so I'm going to place my tape on the center front and I'll go out by four inches on the waistline I'll also go out by four inches on the bust line on the bust line i'm going to go down by one inch that is where i want the dart to stop okay so after doing that i'm going to connect from that one inch that i came down with to meet the dot on the waistline like this okay since i left one inch for my dart intake i'm going to take half an inch on both sides of this straight line and i'll connect back to the straight line like this next thing i'll do now is to mark the neckline 
So for the neck width, I'll be using 3 inches and for the depth, I'll also be using 3 inches. So this is 3 inches. Once I fold it in, it's going to be 3.5 inches. So depending on how wide and how deep you want your neckline to be, I'm just using the standard neckline, which is 3 by 3. And I'm using the same neckline for both the front and the back, okay? So I just went ahead to connect from the neck width to meet the depth, neck depth in a circular form. Okay, so it depends on the type of neckline that you want. The next thing I'll do is to adjust the zipper area. So on the waistline, I'm just taking out half an inch from the waist area, okay? To avoid zipper bulge, I'll connect from that point to the neckline as you can see me doing. And then I'm going to go ahead and cut. So guys, when cutting out the arm, oh, I'm cutting out the back arm oh, first. I'm not going in with the half an inch that I went in with. I'm just cutting out the normal arm oh, first, which is going to be for the back. Once I'm done, I'm going to cut out the front arm oh. As you can see me doing, I'm also notching my zipper allowance and my dart so I know where it is when I'm sewing, okay? So I'm done cutting and this is what we have for the back. The back is splitted into two because I'll be fixing my zipper to the back. So what I'll do now is to trim out the front arm hole. So remember I came in by half an inch on this arm hole area. That is what I'm trimming out for the front arm hole. After doing that, this is what I have guys. So the next thing I'm going to do now is to pipe my neckline. So if you want to add lining to yours you can go ahead and cut out your lining the same way that you cut out your fabric okay so i'll pipe my neckline and then i'm going to take in my dart so you can aim it or you can use your bias tape to just pipe it okay and then go ahead and take in your dart okay so the next thing i'll do now is to cut out the pants i've gone ahead to fold my fabric into two and this is for the front okay so to know the length of your play suit you are going to take out your half length okay so my half length was 16 inches okay and i want the length of my play suit plus um folding allowance to be 35 inches so this is what i have i have 35 inches here okay so the old fabric that i have here for my pants is about 19 inches okay so go ahead and take out your half length And to know the amount of fabric to fold, you are going to take your hip circumference divided by 4 plus um, extra 4 inches or 5 inches, okay? So after doing that, next thing I'm going to do is to mark the distance from my waist to my hip. Mine is 8 inches, so I'm going to mark 8 inches like this and I'll roll a straight line across. I'll label it my hip line. The next point I'm going to take is my crotch line, okay? so um to get your crotch line i have a video on the screen that is how i take my crotch line another way to also take your crotch line is to divide your hip by four and then you add extra one inch or 1.5 inches to it so whichever one works for you the video that you can see on the screen is what works for me okay so my normal crotch um line is 12 inches but this is a play suit and I want it to be as free as possible on the crotch area. So I'm adding extra 2 inches to my normal crotch line, okay? So instead of placing 12 inches, I placed 14 inches for my crotch line. I hope you guys are not confused. After doing that, I went ahead to rule a straight line across that point and I labeled it my crotch line. The next thing I'm doing now is placing my hip circumference divided by four plus one extra inches for ease okay so my hip circumference divided by four is nine inches i added one inch to it which is 10 inches so i'm placing the 10 inches on the waistline which is the start of my fabric on the hip line and on the crotch line after doing that i'll connect the three dots into a straight line The next thing I'll do now is to get my crotch extension line. To do that, I placed my tape on the crotch line. What I have there is 10 inches. So I'm going to divide it 10 inches by 4, okay? So what I had after dividing it was about 2.5 inches. So I went ahead to just 
approximate it i made it three inches okay so i came out from that straight line by three inches and i'm going to connect from that three inches from the hip line to meet the three inches like this okay so after doing that guys next thing i'm going to do now is to find the middle point of my pant okay to do that i'll place my tape all the way to the crotch extension and what i have is 13 inches i'm going to divide the 13 inches by two okay so what i have is about 6.5 inches i'll mark the 6.5 inches so this is the center of my pant okay so after doing that i'm going to connect into a straight line i'm doing this because i want the down of my pant to be a little bit fitted okay if you don't want it to be fitted you can just connect straight down okay so the next thing you do is to measure your round tie circumference okay so my round tie circumference is 22 inches i went to divide the 22 inches by 2 and it gave me 11 inches so i'll be placing 11 inches on this tie okay so as you can see i've divided it into two so i'll place 5.5 inches on one side and i'll place another 5.5 inches on the other side making it 11 inches so from that straight line i'll come out by 5.5 inches and on this other end i also mark 5.5 inches okay so whatever your round tie measurement is you are going to divide it by two okay so we'll have 11 inches on the front tie and we'll have another 11 inches on the back tie so you are not dividing by four you are dividing by two i hope you understand so after doing that i'll just connect from the um, crotch as you can see I connected all the way to meet the 5.5 inches like this okay after doing that guys the next thing i'm going to do now is to place my waist measurement remember we placed our hip um circumference divided by four plus one inch on the waistline so now i'm going to place my actual waist measurement okay so from the um this line i'm marking i'm taking the measurement backwards i'll place my waist circumference divided by four I'll add one inch for that and I'll add my stitching allowance as you can see me doing. After doing that, I'll connect from that point to meet the hip line. So we already have our hip circumference divided by four plus our ease allowance on the hip line. Okay. So what I'll do is just blend from the waist to meet the hip and from that point to meet the leg of the pant as you can see. Okay. So after doing that, I'll go ahead and cut. After cutting, this is what I have. I'll be using this to cut the back, okay? So for the back, I've also gone ahead to fold my fabric into two. And this fabric is wider than the front, is way wider than the front, okay? So what you do is to make sure you have allowance on this crotch area. Make sure you also have allowance on the other side. So on the crotch area, I have about two inches allowance. On the other end, I have about 1.5 inches allowance. And on the waistline i have about 1.5 inches allowance also so what i did was to connect the crotch line from the front to meet the back okay so they stay together and i came out by three inches as you can see i extended the back crotch by three inches because that's the same thing that i did for the front okay so on this waistline i'm going to go up by about one you can do one inch you can do 1.5 inches and if you're in a, on a bigger side you can do two inches so what i'll do now is to connect a straight line okay just like you see me doing after doing that i'm going to connect from that extension back to the front waistline like this so this is not a straight line as you can see i placed my ruler in a curve okay i'll connect it back to the waistline so the waistline is sitting together okay so on this side for my inseam allowance i'll be taking one inch okay i'm marking one inch i'm extending the back by one inch on this side and you can see me connecting to the base of my pants after doing that this is what i have on the tie area i'll go out by two inches okay i'll go out by two inches and then i'll connect from this point to meet it like this okay after doing that guys i'm going to remove my front pattern so you guys see 
what the back looks like okay so guys we'll be fixing the zipper to the back also so the next thing i'm going to do now is to mark my zipper allowance for the back so the first thing you do is to figure out how long you want your zipper to be on the pants so for me i'll be going down by eight inches okay so the next thing is to take my zipper allowance okay so my zipper allowance for my upper body is two inches so i'm marking the same two inches so i'll go out by two inches all the way and i'll stop at that eight inches mark which is where my zipper is going to stop okay and then i'm going to connect like this okay after connecting i'm going to go ahead and also connect this point into a straight line guys that is all for the back what i'll do now is to go ahead and cut guys after cutting this is what i have okay so once i fold my zipper allowance in this is what the back is going to look like okay so the next thing i'll do is to take my dart remember i left about one inch for my dart so i'm going now by four inches which is half of my nipple to nipple measurement and the length of my dart is going to be three inches so i'm marking three inches what i'll do now is to take half an inch on both sides of the straight line and i'll connect like this after doing that i'll go ahead and notch it so i'll repeat the same thing for the front so that when i'm sewing i just know exactly where to take in my dart okay so i'll just go ahead and notch it and on this crotch area i'll be sewing about half an inch okay so i'll sew from this part that you can see me marking all the way to the crotch okay and i'll take in my dart for the front also i'll mark my dart i'll notch it and i'll go ahead and sew on the crotch area okay and then i'll take in my dart so guys i've sewn the crotch line in place i went ahead to also iron my zipper allowance down for the back and this is what i have I repeated the same thing for the front i sewed the crotch line using my half an inch and then i went ahead to take in my dart for both front and back and i ironed it i know you guys cannot see my um darts because of the nature of this fabric so go ahead and take in your dart and sew the crotch line in place i've also gone ahead to cut out my pockets i'll be adding um pocket to this um play suit i have four of it all i did was to spread my arm on this um, fabric and I cut it out the way it is so what I'll do is to go down from the waistline of my pants by two inches and I'm going to place the pocket like this right side facing right side I'm doing the same thing for the back also I'm placing my pockets two inches away from the waistline I'll pin it down So guys after pinning the pocket in place i'll just stitch it down on a straight line and this is the upper bodies i've gone ahead to pipe my neckline using my fabric and i've also taken in the dart for both the front and the back as you can see so go ahead and do that okay pipe your neckline taking your dart and iron everything flat so the next thing i'll do now is to join the upper bodies to the lower bodies so i've stitched down the pockets as you can see what i'll do now is to join them on the waistline okay so i'll make sure that the waistline align as you can see i'm going to place them right side facing right side and i'm going to sew using my stitching allowance and for the back also i've stitched down my pocket i'm going to bring the two piece for the back okay that has the zipper allowance and i'm going to also place them right sides facing right side okay so make sure that the waistline for the upper bodies and that of the pants make sure they match so i'll go ahead and use my stitching allowance to also stitch them together in place like this i've gone ahead to do that guys and this is what i have 
Okay, so this is the back also. I'm gonna have to sew the upper bodies and the lower bodies in place. So for the back, you can go ahead and sew your zipper to the zipper allowance at this point. But I'm going to do that later. So I went ahead to arrange front and back piece together and I'll stitch the shoulder. Okay, so the next thing I'll do is to cut out my sleeve. So I don't have enough fabric. My sleeve is going to be short because this is the fabric that I have left. So the first thing you do is to determine the length of your sleeves. As you can see mine so the next thing i'll do now is to go down on this other end of the sleeves by three inches and i'll come inward by another three inches i'll use my free hand to connect like this so the next thing i'll do is to place my round sleeve circumference divided by two and then i'm going to connect so just go ahead and place your measurements and add the necessary allowance okay on the base of the sleeves i also um place um, my measurements and I'll add my allowance after doing that I'll go ahead and cut and I'll notch the center my fabric is already folded into four so I'm cutting out both sleeves at the same time so after cutting I'll just notch the middle and then I'm going to place my sleeves on the shoulder of my main bodies okay so I'll open it up like this the notch part of the sleeves I'll place it on the part that I joined on the shoulder and then I'll sew all the way around after doing that I'll end the base of the sleeves okay so I've gone ahead to do that guys and this is what I have next thing you're going to do now is to place your measurements your bust measurement on the bust line and your waist measurement on the waistline and then you're going to sew all the way around down to the pocket you saw around the pocket all the way to the base of your play suit okay so just place your measurement on the bust line on the waistline and then sew all the way around and then i'm going to um pin the crotch line in place and then i'm also going to sew all the way around after doing that go ahead and aim the base of your play suit if you have not attached your zipper go ahead and fix your zipper in place I've gone ahead to do that for mine and this is what I have. So guys, that is all for this tutorial. I hope it was helpful. Don't forget to like. I'll see you in the next.